summer camp was always fun it was like all the boys from the street there was a couple of girls not too many but just enjoyed going doing the drills the fun games and then there was like little prizes at the end of the week that obviously you're you're challenging with your brothers and your friends for and it was just just all good fun really so i'm from extra town and um, so we would have done camps in mainly in north end united and um, so that was my my local team so that's how we ended up getting involved in football in the first place and uh, me and my twin brother um, he started playing a week before I did. I was jealous, like the twins do. We wanted everything that each other had. So. Yeah, yeah, I've done uh, soccer school um, before. I can't remember the age that I've done it, but, um, but yeah, it's great. It's great for the kids because um, it's a bit of fun as well, and they're still getting a bit of football in there as well in summer. Because obviously the clubs are going to be closed for summer, so it's good to it's good to be playing with your friends at that age and just enjoying football. <laughs> Starting off, there was no girls team, so it was me and my cousin um, on the boys team, our age groups. And from that day, I was playing on the street with the boys. They were throwing in tackles like I was one of the lads. I was scoring goals. We were all having fun. And I think probably that's what taught me most about football when I was younger. I think my mum, dad, like raising five kids and Lisa by herself, is it's not it's not an easy job. So for me to um, be given this kind of pride and joy just um, by me playing football and, and um, just getting these little small accolades. Um, yeah, it's great for me and it's, it's a proud moment for her as well. It's been a great six, seven months for me. Um, it just shows how, how fast football can change. And, and, um, but yeah, it's been, it's been one six months that I'm not going to forget.